hi guys welcome to my youtube channel if you're new here you're welcome i'm very to subscriber thank you so much for always tuning in in today's video i'll be teaching you how to cut and sew this beautiful booboo -boo gown so if this is what you're interested in please like this video comment on this video subscribe to my channel and let's get started welcome back guys so this is the material i'll be using this is an ankara fabric and this other one is the plain material i'll be using so i'll be using a dolphins you can use crepe if you have crepe so now let's start cutting so you measure the length of your gown and whatsoever is the length of the gown you add two inches you add two and a half inches so let's assume the length is 38 so you add extra two and a half inches to it that's 40 and a half then you mark it on your fabric and note that this fabric is folded into four that is we are cutting both the back and the front bodies together so that now the next thing to do is to measure your shoulder measurement that is your shoulder measurement divided by two so mine is 16 so 16 divided by two is eight then you measure your length of your sleeve that is from your shoulder to your elbow you reduce it by two let's assume your shoulder to your elbow is 12 inches so you take out two inches away from it so we we'll have 10 inches so but mine is 10 inches so 10 minus 2 i have 8 inches so i'll measure the 8 inches you will add the 8 inches to the shoulder measurement you've measured before i hope you understand So now from that area you will go down by one and a half inches then you connect it to somewhere around that area you can just measure three inches from that ending so just three inches from there to that point so after that you measure your sleeve opening so if you're for your sleeve opening let's assume the normal curve measurement for your sleeve is 10 inches you have to add like extra five inches because you know the opening is wide it's not fitted so you have to add additional extra like five inches or seven inches depending on how wide you want the opening to be so whatsoever you have you add one and a half inches to it again so let's assume i have 10 so i'll measure 11 and a half instead so now i'm measuring my waist my waist point over here and also my hip point so after taking those measurements, I will measure my hip measurement divided by 4. Then I'll add extra 3 inches. Extra 3 inches plus 1 inch sewing allowance, that's 4. So let's assume your hip measurement is 36 inches. So 36 divided by 4, that is 9. Then you add another extra 4. That is 3 for the freeness of the gown and 1 inch for the sewing allowance. If you measure the same thing all through from this area, from the waist area down to the hip area you measure the same thing then you connect it with your ruler so you keep connecting it until you get to this area over here which is the sleeve area so you see that we have a like a four corner there so you have to make it a curvy area just make a curve at this area connecting the sleeve and the body together so this is what we have then the next thing we'll be doing after this is to cut out our bodies if you haven't liked this video please kindly like this video right now thank you so now the next thing i'll be doing is to cut my neckline so the neckline i'll be using for the back i'll be using three and a half by two by one and a half inches three and a half by one and a half inches then i'll make a curve so for the front i'll be using seven inches seven inches i'll be using seven inches by three and a half so i'll just make a v neckline at this area so this is what i have so now i'll be cutting the back neckline first then i'll remove one so the one will be for the back so i will now cut the front on the other one remaining so i'll cut the front neckline on this other one so 
so that is that about the main bodies so i'll go over to my sewing table to cut the plain materials so this is the neck design that i cut out and it is 12 inches wide and the length is 20 inches so it is 12 inches wide because i'll be folding one inch in at both sides then i'll be adding this paper stitch to to give it body like it to make the fabric thicker so i'll be adding this paper stitch so this is the this is the band i'll be attaching to the sleeve and it is four inch wide and the length is the measurement for the sleeve round like the measurement round so it is excess so if it remains i will trim it out so after folding this this neck design i have 19 inches left i have 19 inches left then this part is like 10 and a half inches but 10 inches is fine if you use 10 inches it is fine and you can also reduce it or make it wider depending on how you want it so this is what it looks like so for the lower part over here i'll be using this fringe design that i bought so i'll be placing it inside i'm just trying to cut it first but this fringe design will be inside this neck design so i'm placing these two on each other just to make it full so it will be inside like this this is how it will be and i will sew. so i'll show you how to go about that shortly so now let's fix our neck design so this is the neck design the right side will be the wrong side of the fabric will be facing the right side of the neck design then we sew and turn it over so the the wrong side of this fabric will be facing the right side of the neck design then you will sew and flip it over so this is it after flipping it over though i've not ironed it yet i've not ironed it yet i would advise you iron it immediately before you go ahead and do other things so now i'm just trying to place my fringe properly so that i can sew it inside so i'm trying to arrange it then it's this is how it will be this is how it will look like then the next thing to do is to pin the neck design so that when you are sewing you know you are sewing a perfect neck design so you pin every area you feel will shake and also the side here you pin every area then you sew round after sewing around this is what it looks like and i've not ironed it yet because there is no light at the time i was filming this so this is the back body so i just went ahead to use a bias to turn that inside then i'll be joining this i'll be joining it at the shoulder with half inch it's just half inch i'll be joining it together so after joining this is what it looks like this is the neckline and this is what it looks like as you can see so the next thing to do is to fix our band to the sleeve area so this is the band it is four inches wide so after folding it is two inches then after sewing it will reduce one and a half so after sewing this is what it looks like this is what i have after sewing then the next thing to do is to sew the sides together and also hem the lower part of this dress because of time so the next thing to do is to join the sides is to join the sides together so after joining this is what it looks like after joining and ironing this is what it looks like and as you can see it looks really really nice i'm sorry i will not be able to put this on a mannequin because my mannequin is not available at the moment but this is what it looks like and it looks very very nice on the on the customer so thank you so much for watching if you watch up to this up to this moment thank you so much thank you so much for liking this video thank you so much for subscribing thank you so much for also sharing with your friend i'll see you in my next video Bye.